So today I'm bringing to you an FVP, Verified Proven, R7145. It's just got a lot of symbols on it. As I know, it says here it is made in Mexico, so that's good. What's it say on the box? Lower resistance to flow, maximum efficiency, maximum capacity. Premium oil filter. And yeah, we'll have to see about that. This thing is uh, probably not that premium. Uh, yeah, it's uh, distributed by FMP Egan, Minnesota. So we'll have to give a good look at this one and see how well it is made. It's actually a pretty good little hefty filter, made in Mexico, and we'll have to cut into this one and check it out. We've got my trusty uh, oil filter cutter right here, and it's nice and slim one. I'm, I'm guessing this case is not going to be that thick, but I'm not sure if it will be, but I am going to... I'm hoping it's not as thick as some of the other ones I've done and that it'll cut relatively easy. Some have been claimed to have nice thick cases and then they are really not that thick at all. So, let's see. So far it's not too bad. It's taking, it's, it's, it's not cutting as well or it's taking time to cut through it, so that's something. Nope, give her a little slack. Yeah, this one is taking a while to get through, so that's probably a good uh, good case on it. I can usually judge how thick they are by how, how much it takes to cut through them. Okay, I'm going to get through it and then come back. Okay, after I said that, it kind of broke through. So, it, it did break through. Oh, I can feel. Uh, let's see here. here. Let's get this cutter out of here. I can feel there's a lot of spring on this thing. So, does this thing have a real spring in it? That would be nice. Okay, let's just do this. There we go. There it is. I got her. And, well, let's take the top off. So I can see the top is kind of like what a former filter we undid here was like. Kind of reminds me of the same filter. Was that made in Mexico? I can't remember. But let's deal with this first. Uh, number of threads, three threads. You know what? They're not really nice threads on here. They're not really cut that nice into this thing. So, uh, they're kind of, they, they probably hold, but yeah. Let's take this off. The seal. Oh, the seal is actually held in really nice. Nice and tight held in there. So, that's good. But, yeah, there's not a lot of heft to this. It's not very thick. I would, well... Not very thick at all, 1 16th inch uh, steel for the, for the base. But there's not a lot of heft. So this thing did weigh pretty good, but I'm sure it's because of all this other stuff in there. So yeah, that's uh, hmm, not that great so far. But this also, uh, see, bypass valve, but also, not bypass valve, anti-drain back valve, but it also passes as a bypass valve. And these do work, by the way. They do work pretty well. So, at least it has that. So, let's pull her in. Oh, yes. And, yes, there was a real spring in her. So that's nice. Oh, yes, I have to say, uh, thank you, Coraline, for sending me some filters. Um... Thank you for this one. This one's also, I believe she said, for what she would get for her Subaru. So, thank you very much, Coraline. And the paper, oh, the paper is not very, it's your standard cheap paper in the filter, but 
overall it seems to be put together pretty well. I am going to cut the paper off and go with from there. Alright, where was I? Okay, at least it has a steel strip or a steel strip to hold it together in the filter. Not that it needs it. This is pretty, pretty weak and cheap paper here, so it's pretty easy to... Uh, it's really thin paper, so wow. Not uh, much on... This, this is not some of the best paper you're going to find out there for filtration. But the canister, really good shape. I like this canister. So, yeah, it's really strong. It works well. And like I said, I love this spring. It's actually a really nice spring. Wow. So, let's check out this paper. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty light. It's like I'm holding nothing at all in my hand. This is so light. There is no weight to this. And so that means, wow, this stuff is the easiest stuff I think I've been able to rip. This is not very good filtration. I don't, I don't know really. Maybe it is good filtration, but it's very thin, so you can probably tell that it's got really quick flow through it. And yeah, it'll stop bigger particles like most oil filters. But uh, I'd say after this gets wet for a while, this thing may just destroy itself. So if you want to, you can use this filter. Me, I would personally not. The case, yeah, a little thicker than I thought it was going to be. So the case isn't that bad. So, wow. It is thicker than I thought it would be. So overall, this one uh, has a lot of good features. The filtration, I would say, sucks. <laughs> but it has a lot of good features. If only all of this is pretty good. This where it needs to be good is not good and it said it was a premium oil filter this this is premium style oil filter and this this is very low economy oil filter so would i um hmm, I, I i wouldn't put it on my vehicle just because of the filtration is terrible okay thanks for watching